can be equal problem of our august long challenge division four rated so let's our get problem. started so I what's I our problem first of all uh, read the problem uh, very carefully and then you can solve it very easily okay okay our problem is shape has two numbers a and b okay in one operation shape can choose either a or b and multiply it by two in one operation chef can choose either a or b L uh, like chef choosing a and then he or she will multiply it by two or he will choose b and he will multiply uh, multiply the b with two so determine whether he can make both a and b equal after any number of moves possibly zero like if the a and b uh, already is equal then we uh, don't need to any uh, make any uh, make any what make any operation so that's why it's written here possibly zero then determine whether he can make both a and b equal after any number possibly zero of moves now our input format what is our input format the first input format is our test case t and then each test case consists of two space separated integer a and b now the output format is for each test case output yes if chef can make both numbers equal no otherwise if chef can uh, if chef uh, can make a and b equal then the output will be yes and uh, if he can't make it equal then he will print the no answer now what will be the our algorithm for this uh, solution the first algorithm the first step of algorithm you already guess that that when the number when the two numbers a and b will same are same then it uh, we uh, we will print simply yes but when the numbers are not same then what we'll do the first thing we will do that we will find the lowest number between two numbers because our goal is to equal two numbers a and b so our first step is what our first step is the uh, find out the minimum uh, find out the minimum number okay i am uh, find out the minimum number i am locking the ribbon always show ribbon okay what's our first step our first step is in uh, insert is our first step what is our first step our first step our first our first step is uh, find minimum number minimum number so our first uh, minimum number is what um, the minimum number is five for first test case the first test case what the minimum number is five so uh, in our first test case the minimum number is five now my goal is to that uh, i need to make 20 of this five but how make it first of all i will multiply it by two and what is the result the result is 10 so 10 is the small number of 20 that's why we can multiply it by 2 again so again multiply by 2 so 10 multiply by 2 the result is 20 and our high value what high value was 20 so we can make it equal then we will print yes the output is P yes look at that the output is yes and look at the second test case is 6 and 6 look 6 and 6 it's already what it's already equal so it's already equal so our output is equal now look at the test num test case number 3 that in the uh, 3 number test case the input is 12 and 2 the minimum number is what the minimum number is 2 so if we multiply 2 multiply by 2 the first result is 4 then we will multiply 4 into 2 the output is 8 then we multiply 8 into 2 again our result is 16 look at that 16 is greater than 12 and 8 is lower than 12 so we can't make it 12 by multiplying 2 
so the output will be what output will be no now look at the test case number 4 50 and 20 the minimum number is what the minimum number is 20 the minimum number is 20 uh, yes minimum number is 20 if I multiply it by 2 the output the first output is 40 and if I multiply the 40 by 2 the output is what the output is 80 the output is 80 and now uh, look at that 80 is greater than 50 and 40 is lower than uh, 50 so we can't make it equal so our output is no that's mean uh, what we can say that our main goal is to multiply the minimum number until the highest number is equal or greater than if it's greater than then we will stop the loop if it's lower than we will running the loop and if it's equal then we will print yes and break the loop that is the algorithm of our problem so our first algorithm is what our first algorithm uh, look at that our first uh, algorithm is what uh, find the minimum number so our, fa our first step is find the minimum number okay then find the minimum number and high uh, highest number because we will make a condition with this high number this is our first uh, uh, first now uh, our first is our first condition is if the number is equal a equal b then we will print yes and if our a and b is not equal then we will find out the minimum value and then high value then we will create a while loop we will create a while loop that always true that always true and in this while loop i will write a loop uh, i will uh, construct a operation that operation is what we will see in the code so let's go to the code first, uh, in the first line look at that in the first line i am taking the test case and in the second line i am taking the two input and a and b now i am checking a condition if condition if a equal equal b or check yes c h y e s means check yes function i am calling a function called check yes by uh, throwing the parameter a b so let's go to the a b so this function what uh, what is uh, going here first of all i am uh, finding the low, lower value this code is from python and the second thing i am finding the high value by our max uh, max function and then i am declaring a variable called mul my multiplier and i am setting uh, the value of our low so multiply uh, mul multiply equal mul by 2 so our first input our first test case uh, was what our first test case uh, was maybe our first test case is 520 so look at that 520 so 5 into 2 10 this 10 will be set it in multiply 2 and i'm checking the 10 is less than what 10 is uh, 10 is less than 20 so the condition is true so i'm not doing anything there that uh, pass means that this loop will execute again then 10 into 2 20 then i will check the condition 20 is less than high no condition is false then here 20 is equal equal high that means 20 is equal equal 20 that means uh, we can make it equal then return one and here return one then it will print yes and otherwise no and this was the problem and this was a tricky one now and if you need any help regarding this video or any other topics you can join my facebook group code with ridoy or you can directly message me in my facebook account or my instagram account my instagram account name is the same md fuadul islam ridoy and the very important thing is in this playlist problem solution of code chef contest from this playlist you can see the all problem solution uh, from code chef contest and if you learn python 
and you can uh, check my playlist that name is python mangla tutorial python beginner friendly course 2022 and if you are interested to learn in c plus plus then you can uh, see this playlist i am the mentor of my university my university name is international university of business agriculture and technology i am the mentor of c and c plus plus of my university so you can take help uh, from me regarding c or c plus plus i have a c programming playlist that uh, playlist include uh, made by 150 plus problems you can see the c programming playlist from my youtube channel you can go to my just my youtube channel and uh, you need to go in the playlist tab and the uh, and then you will find the c programming playlist in here and uh, if you face any problem just knock me thank you